Nam, day two. Jason from Thomas Synthesizers with Ralph from Nectar. How you doing, Ralph? Well, it's all right. <laughs> Tell us about the Aura. Well, um, Aura is our new uh, and actually quite powerful USB MIDI pack controller and performance instrument. So it has all the features you'd expect from a MIDI pack controller. So you have 16 really uh, in a very highly dynamic, hypersensitive pads. But what sets it apart from, from just being a, like a regular pack controller is that you also have awesome plug-in control. Nice. Nectar is known for DAW integration. We've also added a hardware sequencer, so even without a computer connected, you can you can do some stuff. We'll, we'll look at it in a second. Amazing. Uh, we have a repeat engine, so yeah, they can do like uh, trap hi-hats, you know, switching the speed and stuff and so on. When you want to use our, uh, uh, and, and it's more advanced features, you're using a connection with Nectarine, which is why it's called Nectarine Beat Composer. Ah, nice. Nectarine is, is a plug-in host that you can load in any um, DAW uh, that is VST and AU compatible. It actually allows you to assign plugins to pads instantly. So nice. say we want to start easy with one multi-sound plugin. We can do that from Aura, actually. Okay, so um, I'm now hitting the Browse button. I have my patches already loaded into Aura, so I can select. And here we are. We now have uh, the uh, Auto Realism uh, ADM loaded, like a virtual reincarnation of, of classic drum machines. And inside the DAW, you know, I'd now create my MIDI events and record it all on the DAW. But thanks to also having the hardware sequencer that I mentioned earlier, I can also program beats in here, which are then spit out over USB and MIDI and instantly recordable in my DAW. So I can just uh, start and have uh, like a nice uh, patch going. I, I assume you can connect that MIDI cable up to a hardware box as well. Exactly. The hardware sequencer um, actually em employs this classic 16-step uh, programming interface up here. And uh, you can also see what you've programmed uh, on the display. Each pattern, um, is, there's like one pattern per pad, 16 patterns. Each pattern has up to four variations, so a maximum of 64 steps. Um, and um, you can decide if you only want to, like we're doing right now, only want to use the first 16 steps or want, want it to run through consecutively, you know, lots of flexibility. Nice is also, of course, these 16 patterns would then run in sync, but you could decide to create polyrhythms by changing the length of only the selected pattern. The snare would still have 16 steps. We have like a, what is that? A 12 step um, kick drum running with the 16, 16 step uh, snare drum. Nice. And just playing with that with knobs, all of these controls are instantly assigned to these knobs. Um, you know, you can get lost in creating uh, all kinds of undanceable rhythms. <laughs> the, the, the transport bar is assigned to control um, the transport functions. I mean, as you probably expect uh, in your doll. Also, the eight knobs are then assigned to features like track selection, uh, loop location, loop length, all sorts of useful project navigation uh, features. And of course, we're not running door integration right now, which is why you don't see anything. It's with full feedback on, on the color display. There's always, you always see what's going on, what the knobs are assigned to on the, on the color display on the hardware. So summing up, you have a very, uh, um, powerful USB MIDI pad controller. You have a built-in hardware sequencer. You have a repeat engine that allows you to do all kinds of, uh, you know, repeating noises. You have a repeat engine, you know, so that you can do all kinds of uh, trigger-happy fast rhythms that you couldn't play by hand. You have full plugin control, which I haven't shown. So we can remote control this plugin from Aura. And for this, this uh, particular multi-sound plugin, we can actually you know, we, we get the right parameters shown for, for each of the sound slots. The reason is um, that we include a lot of maps for many popular plugins, but you can also easily design your own. And these maps can be really, really complex. So um, 
and you can also get to these different pages or sounds from Aura's display. So really, you can let, let your computer just sit in a corner and do most from the hardware. And it's going to be shipping in March, hopefully. And uh, 349 euros. Bargain. Well, I hope we can see this perhaps back at Toman Towers in the studio for a little bit more in-depth quite soon. Ralph, it's been a pleasure. Thank you Thanks very much for, for sharing.